The ruble has fallen so much for several reasons. First of all, this is a direct consequence of Russia's war against Ukraine. Western sanctions, a budget deficit of almost 3 trillion rubles and escape of business. The fall was also accelerated by Prigozhin's rebellion. The already weak confidence of citizens in the currency was undermined even more, and those who had savings in rubles hurriedly converted them into foreign currency. And the Russian government could stop the depreciation of the ruble, but in turn out that it is not profitable for it. Because budget expenditures are in rubles and revenues are mainly in foreign currency through exports, and the lower the ruble exchange rate, the more it is possible to finance budget revenues, which have decreased by 35% over the past six months. Sergei Zhavarenkov, member of the board of the Liberal Mission Foundation, in a comment for Voice of America. That is, in the short term, this will make it possible to cover more government spending, but the opposite effect is to increase prices. And first of all, it will be felt by ordinary Russians. According to experts, a number of ordinary household products, including essentials, will gradually rise in price. The peak of inflation in the country, according to economists, will occur in autumn. That is, citizens will pay for the goods reporting of the government of the Federation from their own pockets. And taking into account the fact that the criminal war against Ukraine, Russia is not going to stop. To cover the huge costs of it, the state will again take resources from citizens. Of course, the Russian government will have to cut some expenses, because miracles do not happen. Now, in short, all expenses will be cut, except for the war and except for the internal security forces, because Putin cannot afford to work only for the war. Therefore, he will also increase the cost of his protection, and all other expenses will decrease. The imperial policy and the tactic consent of the people led to the fact that Russia literally lost years of development. Development. It is practically impossible to calculate exactly how much the war against Ukraine takes from each Russian at the moment. But even with rough estimates of what is known, we are talking about colossal amounts. Thus, according to Forbes, in 1922, Russia's direct spending on the war amounted to $114 billion. And this is without taking into account the destroyed equipment and personnel, as well as economic losses from sanctions and isolation. But even this money would be enough, for example, to open a modern hospital for 800 people in every second city of the Federation. Western intelligence agencies are already openly saying that Putin has led Russia to the status of China's raw materials appendage. Putin's war has already turned out to be a strategic failure for Russia. Its military weaknesses have been exposed. Its economy suffered greatly for years to come. Its future as a junior partner and economic colony of China is determined by Putin's mistakes. Its revanchist ambitions are stifled by NATO, which is getting bigger and stronger. William Burns, director of the Central Intelligence Agency from the Washington Post. According to the report of the European Commission, the sanctions imposed on Moscow have undermined the industrial and technological potential of the Federation. Since the start of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine, trade between the European Union and Moscow has fallen by 150 billion euros, and according to Brussels, the losses of the Russian economy from sanctions will only increase. Reported by Roman Smoller, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.